Jesu Christe. Sikakse Sunday School. Sia wana kulu kutuwezi kusile songe. Mutusu wazo wamba sikakse Sunday School. Sio tala wantwa na wabwe wa sinike zene morele siya wo. Sio wana wantwa na wabwe wa sinjele sikundu saamu. Anyone? Stand up behind. The birth of our Savior. Amen. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Matthew uh -huh. chapter 2, verse 1 to 23. Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 40. Lesson 312, Senior Cosmonary verse. The sitter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from, from between his feet until she will come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Genesis chapter 49 verse 10. Amen. Then he ends low sister last week. That lesson I should again. So the niggas has got to get the years, the general one when he ends. Another other language behind people corner stand up.
has given us. It is by his grace that we see ourselves in the temple of God. There are those who cannot even raise a hand or raise a hand. So let us give him glory and make this time or this opportunity that he has given us being as people who are full of sin, but he has been merciful to us. So let us use it wisely for his glory. Today we are learning about the birth of our Savior. The birth of our Savior. Next week, uh, this Saturday is Christmas. That's why we jumped at the lesson to go to this lesson that is going according up with the Christmas day. The birth of our Savior, Senior, uh, Matthew 1, verse 18 to 25. Matthew 2, verse 1 to 23. And Luke 2, verse 1 to 40. It is lesson number 312, Senior Course. Memory verse, uh, Genesis 49, verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a no giver from between his feet until she shall come. And unto him shall the gathering of his people be. And junior memory verse, we find it in Luke chapter 1, verse 68. We thank God for this, today's lesson. May God help us. Please Amen. pray for the Sunday school. Amen. We need the Spirit of God to come and teach us the lesson. People think that this is a very easy lesson because people talk about Christmas every time. It is not easy. We need the Spirit of God to guide us so that we learn something from this, this teaching. The birth of our Savior. Mama, let me wait to eat it. Amen. Amen. The birth of our Savior. There is lots of excitement when coming to Christmas. I want to buy Jamula. I want to buy. Things they don't eat in their daily living or normally during the year, but on Christmas they have to eat something new, something special. They prepare special meals on Christmas Day, they buy each other's gifts. And they even go and indulge in alcohol and parties and so many things because of this Christmas. To them, to the world, it means time of waking. Because of the birth of our Savior. But unfortunately, I want to our seven this, this day according to the word of God. They, 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 they tend to please the flesh while they are transgressing the law of God. On Christmas Day. That same day that God has given us for us to celebrate the birth of the Savior. When I was seven years old, I saw so more and more. I went to a ring, I went to a chavaling, wow, it's Christmas. Mm -hmm. They go and indulge in drugs, indulge in alcohol. When this is to be a magazine, we would be certain to get another spirit. We would have to be a celebrating Christmas again, Kela Yakona. By the they make sin unto God. Even Abanya Bawe will say because of that, because of this excitement, because of this spirit of the devil. May God help us sing about Christ, what is the meaning of this day? Sing a Tolibuti, see a far away from God. 
abanye bathatha amana ngabahambe baye to the sea bazijabulise khona abanye baye kuphi kuphi but are we celebrating it the right way because we know that in elanga len our savior from our sins was born it was a day that didn't did not just come this uh, promise of the savior we see it right from the beginning just after moses saw ngulungulu had made a plan to get a man back to god ngulungulu he brought this promise may god help us as found in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 Genesis 3 verse 15 Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 Dizer pega aí só o para que pago no passe Na faca que está no ya por está no ya Amen. 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 And I will put I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. Amen. There is a promise in that place. The promise of the redeemer it was being made as part in the as part of denunciation given to Adam and Eve after they have sinned. I will put enmity between thee which is the serpent <clears throat> and the woman and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his feet we know that when christ came into this world the world did not like him the sufferings started just after his birth not even after his birth they could not find the inn for him for, for, for mary to give birth so there was no place for him and after when he was born we see herod seeking the child to kill him because he was thinking about his political ambition so he did not like him from there as time goes goes on and on people from zonda which is ama scribes and ama pharisees until his death he was killed by this world the sin the snake and what happened he died after 3 days he rose again and the death was overcome it was being overcome by jesus christ so this part of this verse it is it has the promise in it that the devil this snake is going to be defeated the death will be defeated by christ and the snake will kill or will torture Christ which we saw we have seen what happened when they were crucified him so it is started the promise was from early at the beginning after the man has sinned because umoya wafuna utiko it has been seeking for the redeemer from sin back to God because it was now lost because Eve and Adam had sinned before God so that was the, the beginning of the promise this promise or is it tembisoles mkulungula logo atembisa it started from the uh, old testament atembisa ukuthi uzomlethi who is our savior wahuya ukuthi thina sibuyele kuphi Christ 
because umuntu uwile in the garden of Egypt. That's why we have Christmas. Christmas, we celebrate, we commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior, to come to redeem us back to God because we have sinned. Let us read, and we also, let us read verse Daniel 9, verse 20 to 27. We also see the promise in the book of Daniel as well. Let us read Daniel 9, verse 20. Let's start from verse 20. Zulu. Daniel chapter 9, verse 20. Amen. What is a Kuruma? Tandaza. Ibika is a Sami. The son of Sabbath to my kitchen in Palestine. Vega, Kuruma, and the Kwami, and the job of Chikoami in Tan.
Numbers 24, verse 17. Let us read in Zulu. So that the world know about God and about Messiah. Messiah was not meant for the children of Israel only. Jesus Christ came for everyone, not the other Israeli people, who then a song, but the, the, the Israelite was chosen to be the nation that God will use to reveal it to them. So that we, other the people who are called Gentiles, can know about God. So, Usebe Tisei, I, 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 Aba Israel, Utipsiyazi Mungu. Not that it was meant for Aba Israel, but for everyone. That's why even his revelation is revealing to Balaam, who was not the, Gen the, the, the Israelite, but was, was the Gentile. So, is for everyone. Abuna Wuti, what kind of color you are, or Kuluma Uli Mulupi, it is for everyone. Aba Israel, Abantu Abam Yama, Aba White People, everyone is included in this promise. May God help us. Because Aba Yabati, Christmas, or this thing is for, if we are Abantu Abam Yama, White People. It's not for us. I want to have my mama but it is the end of the to my clothes. The savior is for everyone. Salvation is for everyone. Black or white. Amen. Color of skin has no bearing in the birth of Jesus Christ or in the during the salvation. We also know there were other two people who were involved as well, who are not Israelites. Who formed the lineage of the birth of Christ? Who were those people? The other two people. Brother and Amen. Ruth the Moabite. Who knew about the true worship from her mother in law? Naomi. The other one who formed the lineage of the, the birth of Christ. Who is a gentile? Who is not Israel? Amen. was a, she was a gentile. We know that he helped those spies when they were coming into Israel. So it, it, God was trying also to put also the gentile in his plan. So that today we cannot come and say, no, this was meant for, for only Israelites. The immortal soul of man has felt the need of redemption since sin caused havoc in this world. Oh, 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 oh,
always the good. As faith the need of redemption, since sin was caused how of in this world. It felt that need that it needs to be redeemed back to the God. So let us know as we celebrate Christmas, why are we celebrating Christmas? The verses that we read is about the promise. That God made to the human kind after the sin was born into the world. Let us read about the prophecies fulfilled. Jesus Christ was born of a virgin and was the Christ of God. As he had been prophesied of him. Jesus Christ was a he in Dome. John was a prophet to such. Let us read our scripture, Matthew 1, verse 18 to 25. Let us read in Zulu. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Matthew, Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. Who was our Jesus Christ to Baba Nina Maria, the Missibeu Josepha, the Alacanami, Babon, the Missibeu, 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 Joseph, the other one, who is a father of the father of the father Joseph and Sasa 
But God chose Virgin Mary to be the mother of Messiah. Amen. Even though they knew that the Messiah would come, but there were some other people that they didn't. Yes, they knew about it because they always read about the laws. But when it happened, no one expected it, or there were people who expected it, but there were those who did not want to believe it. Some thought of his kingdom as the kingdom that we throw away or uh, throw out the Romans kingdom. They thought about the kingdom of this world. That's why when Herod heard that there is a king that is born in Bethlehem, he thought, which means I'm going to be overthrown now and seek to kill the child. And he failed to accept him. The Savior who came for him. Jesus Christ was born at Bethlehem, the city of David. The promise he gave to David was fulfilled as well. The promise that Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Enoch, the head about this Redeemer, is God fulfilled as well. But those Christians, these heroes of faith, they seek, they wish they could see that time. And they believed on Messiah, even though he was not born yet. But when he was born, Herod wanted to kill him. Scribes and Pharisees seek for his death because they were evil, even though he came for them. From the time of the first promise of our Redeemer, God has renewed it many times. And there were those who believed and came to it. And those who rejected it. Let us read Micah 
5, verse 2, and also Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Matthew chapter 5, verse 2. Amen. It is important also, a stress in our lesson to know when Jesus Christ was born. Let us read also Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Verse 1 to 7. Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Whatever or whichever word, any word that God has spoken, it will come to pass. There is no confusion in the word of God. The word of God does not oppose itself. And all these series of events, God has made them so that we who are to be redeemed can believe on Christ. It, it was good tidings to those who were waiting for Messiah. It was bad news for those who were seeking for the political ambitions like Herod. It should be good news to us who seek for the kingdom of heaven. May God help us. There were those who wished to be born to see Jesus Christ on this world. But those whom it was revealed also, they were told about his birth. Some didn't even bother to go and see for themselves at Bethlehem. Even now they were there in Jerusalem. Let us make, let us, let us uh, take heed that we are not ignorant of any of the word of God. Yeah. 
We are waiting as well for another prophecy to come to pass. We are waiting for the coming of Christ. Now, not, a, not as a savior, but as a judge. But if we forget, you will find us on our way. And we will not be ready. Like Herod was on our way, and even some of scribes and Pharisees of the birth of Christ. Herod seek to kill the child. Instead, for him to celebrate or to say, let me go and see the child myself. But he didn't bother, he wanted the child to die. May God help us. Let us read Numbers 24, prophecy about the star and the wise men. Numbers 24, verse 17. And continue in our sin. May God help us. There are so many people when they grow up, or some have parents who are in the gospel. And they tend to get into the gospel. And they don't bother to even seek for salvation. While the wildest sinner, when they hear about the salvation, they seek God with all their hearts and take the kingdom of God. Why we are here enjoying the benefits of the parents who are worshipping but we don't mind, care about seeking salvation ourselves? Or we as parents, we became dormant now in the gospel. We have backslid. And we are just worshiping with the experience and knowledge of this so-called gospel. 
while people who are sinners come in and take the freedom of God. We call ourselves holy <laughs> and we have been worshipping for a long time. We know all the rules and regulations, what to do and what not to do. But we have fallen from the grace. So may God help us. This gospel does not care of the skin, it does not care of the experience that you have, whether you are born, you just grew up here in the apostolic faith, it does not care. The wise men went to Bethlehem and get the blessing of being the first, the people who went there at the earliest time to give gifts to the Savior. Amen. They were among those people who first went there, but they were not the first ones. So may God help us. Let us continue to read. Let's read Matthew 2, verse 8 to 15. Matthew 2, 8 to 15. Christ. And even these scribes and Pharisees who told him where the king is to be born, 
They did not bother to go to Bethlehem to see for themselves because this is the Messiah they have been waiting for. They should be happy as well to go and see for themselves. But they let the wise men to go first. What an unbelief. Something that everyone wanted to see. Everyone wished to see this Messiah. But it is happening in their disposal. But they don't care. They don't bother. May God help us. That same unbelief that happened in those scribes and Pharisees is still is happening today. Uh -huh. Jesus came, he was born, he died for us, and we know. He has died and resurrected. He went to the Father to prepare a place for us. But what are we doing? We are remaining. Few people believe. To believe does not mean to come to church. To believe is between the doer of the word of God. Is to, to believe that Christ is our Savior is to, to turn away from sin and seek salvation. And continue to live holy life while we wait for his second coming. If we are not doing that, we are exactly like the scribes and Pharisees and Herod. May God help us. We have the gospel. We hear that lots of people wish to live in the church that we are living in. Where in now you go to Christ yourself and ask whatever you want. You don't go to the pastor or the priest to pray for you. You don't need to sacrifice the cows and sheep and stuff. You just need to repent and pray. Amen. Let us use this time wise. Those Christians who did not live in our time, who were, who were to offer the sacrifices of their animals, those who lived by faith in those times, and they make heaven, and where the China, it is at our disposal, this mercy in abundance. May God help us. Let us use wisely the opportunity or the time we are in. It won't be easy for us to enter heaven, not just like that. If we live an ignorant life of sin, we do not make heaven our home. We won't help us. The Christ persecutions did not start at the cross or before the cross. His persecution started when he was just a baby. You know, a baby is loved by everyone. A baby, just the announcement that the king was born, they started the fight. Wanted to kill him. A baby. May God help us. So his suffering started very early. And we are even told that the gifts that the wise men, according to the word of God, God does things miraculously. Amen. 
Gold. We say it's a token of royalty. Oh, you see, you see, you see. When I got to so close, we know that he is a king. Yeah, he goes. He is still a king. Okay, he Eternal king. His kingdom will last forever and ever. And there was a frankincense as one of the gifts. Is the token of deity. Is deity. And Maya, which is the token of suffering. We know that they use Maya mostly in the medicinal stuff. So it was the token of his sufferings of this world. Even though they may have brought them unintentionally, but God revealed miraculously brought the meaning of their gifts. We serve the mighty God. His understanding is beyond our comprehension. There are no surprises with God. May God help us. And because when he was born, they could not even find the place for him. And no one even excused their rooms or by the inn for them. And they finally went to the stable. He was there in the manger. Being Christ, the Creator, the Creator of heaven and earth, yeah. being in that kind of humility, what does it teach us as Christians? He could have done miraculous stuff for him to be born in a very high place. But no, he allowed to be humiliated. He allowed to, harm, to be humbled, being God himself. But Mina is sorry. But Mina is Mina. Full of pride. I don't want to be taken for granted. I want people to see me, to respect me. May God help us. Let us see the humble spirit that Christ had from his birth. Into even from when he chose to come through his creature, Mary. All that happened so that me and you can believe and not make excuses. He did not come for rich people. He did not come for poor people. He came for everyone. All the status or the financial status people that they have, but he came for everyone. And if you still see yourself as somebody who's up there, let us see this verse, how humble Jesus was. He had power to do stuff, to perform miracles. 
Why the man who is against the control? But he didn't want to do that. What does that have to do with the law? Wanted to be like any normal human being. For the sake of me. It's a little bit. Being God, he spared his son. He told the wise men to go the other way when they departed. And he told them that he also told Joseph to, to flee to Egypt because Herod wanted to kill the son. On the other hand, we see the announcement as well to the shepherds. The wise men, they made the matter known to those people who are of high status. The king, the scribes and the Pharisees, they were people of higher status. We see now the angels announcing the birth of Christ as well to the shepherds. Who, are, who we know that they are for the lower status. But even though they were people of low status, these people were waiting for the Messiah. Let's read verse from verse 8. Luke chapter 2, verse 8. Luke chapter 2, verse 8. What do you call the number of the two men who say, I don't think it's the same thing. It ain't that we have one more or so. And I think those people who say, yes, I am not going to. Jesus. 
There was a king Herod. Did you see an angel? He was evil. But he was a king. Shepherds. He saw the glory of God. It shone all about them. And the angel appeared and told them of the good tidings. People can take you as nothing. It is better for God to take you as somebody. People are people. Human beings, mere human beings, they've got nothing to offer you. But God has eternal life to offer you. So do those things that will make you like a valuable person before God. Like these shepherds who were waiting. And the shepherds took the matter to their friends and their acquaintances. Can we see how the news is spreading? From the higher people, higher people who had it from the wise men. The lower people hearing it from the shepherds. And now we see those who were waiting for God, waiting for Him, waking in the temple. Two people now who saw Him in the temple. We hear that 40 days later, after, after uh, Mary's purification, according to Moses' law. Moses' law, the law of the most of Moses. We can read that from Leviticus uh, 12, verse 2. We are not going to read that. It's, it is in Leviticus 12, verse 2, because of our time. They, they, how many days a woman was supposed to be purified before he can go and touch any other things. If the child is a boy or if the child is a girl. So she went to the temple with the child and the father and, and Joseph. So she was, the, this family was the Joseph and Mary were the people who were waiting for, 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 for the Messiah as well. They were God fearing people who also abide, who also walk according to Moses, me, 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 and the law of Moses. And now they brought the child to the temple. Oh, there was an old man, Simeon, a devout and just man, according to Let's read Luke 2, verse 30. Luke chapter 2, verse 30. Luke 2, verse 30. Amen. 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 This Simeon, as just 
been revealed by the Holy Ghost that he did not see death until he seen Christ. <laughs> and the Spirit of God drove him that day to be in the temple. When he see the child, he knew this was Christ. He was waiting and he blessed the child. And he said, now he can die and rest. Because he has seen the Lord. And there was as well a prophetess, Anna, all know about it. The devout, devout woman who was always in the temple of God, worshipping God. Being a widow for so many years. <coughs> now he has seen Christ. And she blessed him as well. And these two took the news. Those who were Christians, who were waiting. So the news of the birth of the birth of the birth of Christ was all over into the high all positions in all people, whichever status they were in. It was not a secret. X twenty six verse twenty six. Acts 26, verse 26. Amen. There won't be anyone who can say they don't know about the news of Christ. No one can say they don't know that our Savior came to this world. God is so wonderful and faithful. He made sure everyone knew about the birth of Christ. And we now know about it as well. The question is, what do we do about it? We celebrate Christmas, buy each other gifts, eating whatever we need, and forget about Christ, the reason of, the, of Christmas. May God help us. As we celebrate Christmas, we must know the reason of Christmas. And we must do the purpose of us for Christmas. God has fulfilled his promise to the world. Let us read Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 and 2.
But there is a gift that you can give Christ this Christmas. Many people are gifting this Christmas. But there is one gift that does not even cost you any dime. We can give to him our hearts and let him come. He didn't find any place in the inn. So we can make our hearts his inn and give him that gift and let him abide in us. All other gifts you have to pay. You give your friend a gift, you give your family a gift, you have to go and buy. But this most important gift, everybody can afford it. Let us give him our hearts. Let us not forget about him this Christmas. And start to be merry and enjoy in the name of Christmas, but while we are defiling our, our soul through the name of Christmas. May God help us. He came for us. If you don't, you are not saved. You can be saved. Give him your home in your heart. And give him that. That is a very valuable gift. Than buy a motor to you or a car to your wife. The very important gift is to give God your heart. To accept Him. And you will be blessed. May God help us. As we celebrate Christmas, as we buy our children gifts, we buy them toys, all kinds of gifts. The most important gift you can give your child is to tell them about Christ. Is to, 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 to teach them about Christianity. Is to tell them that you know this is Christmas because Jesus was born and his purpose in his life is to redeem us from our sin back to God. Yes. Let us read Junior Memory Verse. Junior Memory Verse, Luke 1, verse 68. Luke 1, verse 68. Luke 1, chapter 1, verse 68. I go, when you go, see you, and redeemed his people. Let us accept redemption and teach our children about this Christ, about these good tidings. God bless you.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So, it was a miraculous birth. It was supernatural. Bawanani is in the loss of the pool. Bakun is the Kumani Mosaraki. Yapula is the Lini Sasabani. Nana calls it by giving, but the Militaka Silipula, Lissipenda, Eliti. Now, Mosino Dalero, no be one over Mochizi. the But the star led them to where Christ was. See, I want to put Offerings, but Let's read. First John 4, verse 10. We were supposed to die. Our standard was failing. First John 4, verse 10. Yeah, and 11, love. verse 10 and 11. Here yeah, is love, not that you love God, but that he loved us, and sent his son to be the propitiation of our sins. Verse 11. We love if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Amen. What stand I need to was to me of Jesus of Jesus? Not his fellow to see in the end. Sit and die. Oh, Tandana, sit and I'm away to sit and I want to know my strangers. Who want to do it to me? Who want to be as a sick or already when I'm putting as a sick or something is your own tears. So it's easy for you to identify those who need your love. Good woman, mother sees. Oh, her road was here. Let her review it. Oh, her road was there. But no mama Samo would try to destroy, but he was a fellow of us with two nicks. About the was a man of good Xmas. Not ever sudden, maybe Xmas, Xmas. But he is a Christ. But Father X, not a city, see our support, the whole magazine, the Shadan. Let's read. April 1, verse 8, and first, our last verse, First Corinthians 15, verse 25 and 26. April 1, verse 8, and First Corinthians 15, verse 25 and 26. But unto the Son, he said, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The mm -hmm. scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy throne. Thy throne is forever.
forever and ever. No matter what I'm going to do, I just pray Christmas. The throne of Jesus is over for now forever. And every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Ah, now we can't even tell you. But he is in there as we are doing it. Sit well. But it's not serious. But in Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. We must know we are going to be a man. Oh Jesus, our last verse. First Corinthians 15, verse 25 and 26. After that, this is Othula, number 28, the law. First Corinthians 15, verse 25 and 26. Amen. For you must reign till here, put all enemies under his feet. 26. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Amen. In Zulu, First Corinthians 15, 25 and 26. In Zulu. Number 28. Number 28. Tá aqui, tá aqui, tá aqui. 